Oh, welcome back to... Wait, what was it called again? Ah yes, a weird quest. We're continuing where we left off, I'm trying to get all the achievements in the game. And also beating the game, perhaps? Yes, we're, we're just doing that, so let's get back into it. Oh. No, eat salt. Eat salt. No. How many skeletons do I have to kill? Oh, I can just use the cross at any time at any distance. I don't, don't have to be super close. Ah, jeez! I don't know if that was meant to be for arrow keys or not. That was spooky. Yeah. It's such a weird delay. No! No! Oh, motherfucker, really? <sighs> you always have to keep moving with the fireballs or else it'll touch you where you have been. And the salt touching the skeletons, it, it's like a weird one to two second delay before they die. It's kind of weird. No, no. Oh, God. Fuck you. Fireball's still coming. Stop. Stop. Finally, I defeated the demon. Hope that I won't get myself into such thing again. Oh. Sprinkle salt on it. Sprinkle salt. All right, little girl. Let's go home. Your father is waiting for you. The exorcist. Ow. Oh. Ow, oh, was that literally it? Wow. Well, that means we have to now just get all the achievements. Well, just like, don't chat with strangers, and I got every single death. Ugh. I will also do the same here. First, we're gonna have to figure out how... No, we can't skip or find... It's just, there could be a lot of silly achievements, like, say, skipping the credits, watching the credits, watching the credits five times. Who knows? Let's see what we got. Mmm, we're missing five. Wait... What do you mean, I haven't gotten that one? Oh, it's because I... Well, I already had that. It's because I deleted the progress that it didn't accept it. That means I'd have to restart the game and hope it has it all saved. Succeed at quieting. These are normal, then it means these are... These are for playing the game. These are the easy ones to get. So, to, be, to even start the game, you get the first achievement. This one is... Carol said, walk toward the deep water inside the dark cave. Let the gravity do its job and just stay away from the edge. Try to use the jump function in front of the giant gap. In fact, I've never implemented the jump function in this game. I'm just kidding in that tutorial. Get a pearl from the slot machine and give it to the piper. Enjoy a beautiful melody from Hulusai, a traditional Chinese instrument. Okay, so for us to even get the first achievement, which I already had, we're going to have to exit. All right, well, we're back. I got the achievement that I wanted. Now the rest is using... Oh, just... I'm going to imagine one of them is just staying to bed and not answering the phone. So let's see how right I am. And just keep sleeping. We're just... You're, we're not going to answer the phone. We want to sleep. We want to sleep. And if my... Stereotyping... Of achievements is accurate, then after, we'll just go to sleep and get an achievement. So I'm going to be sitting here, relaxing, but not with a cup of coffee and hoping for the best. Oh, oh, oh. Game over, fast lane. Knew it. And <laughs> credits. Well, that was an ending then. We Let's get all endings. I mean... How I'd want to name this video is like an all-encompassing, thorough, all achievements, all endings. I'm not sure if it's all endings. Like, if you know what YouTube is like, it's all endings, all deaths, all, you know, all that kind of shit. That's usually what gets you the views. So for this game, if other people are interested in finding out the achievements, then you need to know how to tag the video properly. So then I'm thinking to myself, what would it be? All achievements. Three more to go. And it's before Spacebar. 
So probably, we have to think pacing. The developer has made it so it's easier for you to understand where it likely is. Like, let's look at it again. Like, say, after falling off the edge, which is after the boat. So there shouldn't be anything during the water sequence. But in between sleeping and pressing spacebar when we enter the girl's mind, there's something in between. So likely it's during the conversation with the dad. Likely. So let's see how right I am. We'll get 100% achievements and see, hey, I wonder how many people actually wanted to get all achievements too and looking for guidance from my video. Just like how other major YouTubers like John Wolf and Soda Pop and can sometimes look at my videos for help. Uh, so let's see. The palace? No. The home? The hospital. That's where we wanted to go. My take is we're just going to stand here and do nothing. And hope for the achievement too. So I'll just do what I think is best. And uh, I'll let you guys know if I get the achievement. And how to get the achievement or how I got it if it's not explained by the recording. I'm just going to stand here awkwardly. Aha, burning with impatience. I I hit the skip button, which is one of the things that was uh, offered in the cutscene. Unlike, you know, during the fight with the demon, which wasn't fucking offered. So, skipping the cutscene is a death scene. It's like sort of like we're watching a flashback and it's in VHS mode. So, skipping the cutscene, no, it's just... No, it's, you, you apparently lose. So, we get, I'm going to have to rewatch it. You guys don't have to, because... I skipped ahead. So, with that, we have two more to go, and it's after getting off the boat. Uh, I try to skip the cutscene and get stuck. Well, it is important to watch the cutscene. Okay, so after the boat. I'm not sure where in sequence that'll be. Let's see. Ah, uh, the home, the hospital, no. The forest, and the forest too. We can try the forest too. If wrong, we can always go backwards anyways. Yeah, it's not here. Hmm, is this an achievement, maybe? Or I just found a control bug where I can just, I can just, you know, I can swim backwards. There you go, developer. That should be an extra achievement I just discovered. Being able to sail backwards, which you just normally can't do with just hitting the left arrow key. You have to do it in a weird button sequence. Now, the thing is, did I fall off the water and I can't come back? So I think that's what happened. Yep, I think I think I fell off an edge of the game map off the screen. It's not just constant water left or right infinite infinitely. Oh oh wait. No, the game thinks I'm right there, but I'm not. Shit. Alright, well nothing happened, so let's try the octopus then. Are you gonna kill me, buddy? If I just sit here long enough? I'm hoping so. It's what most would probably think would happen. But there's only one way to find out, and that's sit here and wait for one whole minute or two. And if not, then I'm moving on. And when I say moving on, I mean moving forward, and then going backwards and seeing if I die. Oh, yes. I, oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes? Question mark? What is this? Wait, I wake up? What? Is this a secret ending? Oh, what? What? What is this? I didn't get an achievement, but this is completely... This might be the last two achievements I need. Hmm. Wait, the brick! Take! There's a strange stone tablet, an unexpected treasure. It might be useful if I know where, when, and how. The demon. It's a contract, I think. Leave this place. Oh. Hmm. We're gonna get all the achievements. The whole promise of the whole store page of get all achievements before a week. I'm not even sure how long the game's actually been out. But as soon as I'm done 
I get this last one via the instructions, aka use the cross or the contract to the demon. Um, do we use contract on here or here? No, we have to summon him first. It could either be a weapon or we have to show it to him during mid-conversation. Be like, nah, 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 contract, fuck off. I'm presuming it a contract. Like, use it, like, right now. No? Who are you? Diplomatic immunity. Ah, oh, come on. You took a soul that doesn't belong here. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I take whatever I want. You didn't look at my diplomatic immunity. Ooh, that really hurt him. Oh no, wait, that... That looks wrong. Yeah. It looks like I'm supposed to kill him maybe with it. That did a lot of damage though. It's either I'll get an achievement for using it, or I'm meant to actually finish him off with it. So let's see what happens with this. I I'd rather die and restart. No, he buried me? Okay, here we go. I'm going to presume... Wait, tab? Tab? Shameless cheater. Tab. What, what in the fuck did... You die too many times with the boss and it tells you tab equals immunity to fireball, so I'm going to assume it's die five times if there's going to be a walkthrough of how other people can get all the achievements just so they can try to be amongst the people that are like people who are having trouble with the game but they want to be in within the whole well my next game says the developer I'll give you a, a week heads up so if you use my video to try to get that uh, advantage well, die five times the demon and see if that works. Otherwise, I think I'm now invincible. The cheating, but I'll try to kill him with the contract thing, even though we have all the achievements. Unless there's a hidden one that comes from killing him with the contract, or whatever it is, really. All right, let's see what happens then. And contract. If it is a contract. Finally defeated the demon. Hope that I won't get myself into such a thing again. What if we ignore the girl and leave? Damn. Alright, well, there's the credits again. I think we got all the achievements, so that we can wrap this up. I'm not sure if it'll be a two episode series or just one big episode. I'll see in editing, but more or less, we have all the achievements. I don't know how the developer could say, unless he was just lying, but 99% of the alpha testers couldn't get by even the start of the game? Uh, the puzzles would be hard. What? Come on. I'm not even a puzzle pro. Uh, you know, like... A... Wait, what? I'm missing what? No, I totally got that one. That one was the, um... That one was the cheating. I definitely had this one. What are you talking about? That was uh, the treasure one. Grabbing the treasure. Oh, the fuck didn't it give it to me? Hmm. I guess we have to re-get it. Just, just... I mean, the developer knows I got it. But I want to have it so when I look at that, it's just... It just... Beautiful. So let's... Just... Let's just get it again. And then expect a treasure. Okay. Now it should be there. Okay, so developer, let's just say this is a bug. I got the achievement. You know I did. It's not popping up. So, I think it's just a bug. So, a hot fix is just what's needed to fix it. So, I definitely, definitely fucking have it. And no, you don't, when you get an achievement, you hitting escape and going back to the main menu does not void you of the achievement because I've done it before. So, nonetheless. I have all the achievements, even if this thing is lying to me. It's fucking lying. It's lying, lying to me. You know, all the achievements. Eh, an interesting game. I, I would say thinking outside the box is a bit of a far-fetched exaggeration. Nah, uh, these achievements slash puzzles slash achievement hunting type of uh, uh, 
I'm not sure if I should say gimmick, but you know, just a feature. The game don't chat with strangers to get all the deaths uh, and to get to the ending was a lot more think outside the box than this, in my opinion. But outside of that, that isn't to say it is a, it is a bad game. It was interesting. Um, I, I would like if it had more lore, more story to this game. And maybe, maybe you can have more graphic deaths. Graphic deaths always appease a lot of people. Like when you, when I was talking about all deaths and you know all the all the deaths happen to be gruesome. If a game happens to have your main character go through gruesome deaths, and then someone makes all deaths, you get a lot of views. Thus, your game gets a lot of publicity. So if you don't have a lot of gruesome, detailed deaths. The question I always ask basically is, well, if you have deaths, but you don't have, if you're not putting the effort to having a crap ton of interesting or gruesome or detailed deaths, what are you doing? Why not? You're missing out on the opportunity. As the horror genre, even this isn't really much of a horror genre, but you know what I mean. It's a missed opportunity that a lot of developers don't realize. But outside of that, I hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, be a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.